Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. So this morning, first thing this morning, <laughs> thought we'd do a Mountain Junkers, what uh, sold over the last couple of days. Miss Kitty's getting ready to ship out, so we thought it'd uh, be a good time to do that. So, here we go. Here we go. First, we got a... Uh, Man, I gotta wake up here for a minute, man. I'm gonna do some more coffee. <laughs> Holy smoke. Coffee. Moving slow. Oh, if you can hear the chickens screaming in the back. Um, a vintage Disney Bambi Flower, the Skunk Copper and Brass Bookend. Sold for a uh, cute little thing. Twenty-three forty-three shipped. Do you want me to hand all this yes, to you? You want a box to put it in? No. Oh. no. I'm just Next we have this thing, man. It went so fast. That was pretty awesome to you. Scored this thing. It's a tin embossed. Um, 2014 Kettle One Vodka Tin Sign. 23 by 17. Very rare. Great condition. 41.97 shipped. Picked that thing up for two bucks. It was on for two days. All right. And then we got this little. Uh, Vintage Gulf Soldiers Highway Plaza Service Station Garage Metal Tin Thermometer 2665 shipped. Then a uh, that little Clear Voice Sony M560V Clear Voice Plus VOR handheld micro cassette recorder and tapes. Nice. $39.95 shipped. That was a good one. Yeah. And fast. Fast. I love fast. Then we got a Cavu USA Sun Visor hat nylon adjustable. $14.95 shipped. Got another one of those we got to put on. A green one. And then we have. Oh, I guess we can it, Kim. This bag, but we got a uh, Sony SMP N100 streaming network. Uh, hey, oh, hold on, network media player Wi Fi includes genuine Sony remote that sold for $35.74. Ship, right. gonna have to see what's going on here. Hold on. Okay, man. A little commotion. A little there. commotion out there. I'm gonna take a. Bit. Now we're back. A little bit later. <laughs> so I don't even know. Now I'm really confused. That's life on a homestead, man. Well, we've had obviously the critters. He took off after something. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we had to go. So then, of course, we gotta go down and yeah, see what uh. I'll make sure he ain't tangling with a skunk or a Bigfoot or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where. What did I hand? Oh, the Sony thing. Did I ever say that? You were in the middle of it and I walked okay, out. Okay, so that Sony thing, man, 3574. It's a streaming device. Streaming. I, I think I went okay. and said the number and stuff when you took off out the back okay. door. And then I was like, oh, no. So 3574 shipped. That was our personal streaming device years ago when we were down in the city and... Yeah, it don't stream nothing up here. Yeah. Well, it does, but right. then it just, yeah, it just yeah. didn't work for us. doesn't work for us anymore. And then I got these, which took quite a while to sell, but these uh, original 1950s photographs lot. Um, and this one, I just got to show this one. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on here. But this kid, look at these old trailers, which I held on to these for a while, man, because it's just the old camp trailers and stuff on it. But uh, this little, this kid on this little one here, man, he's holding a, you can't see it on there, but he's holding a little uh, Pez candy dispenser. He's holding a little Pez flag. It's so cool. Pretty cute. Yep, and this kid on a, in front of an old uh, Model T sitting on there, a little farm kid. I forgot about the Volkswagen. Yeah, the old Volkswagen. And then this one, this gal. Pretty cool. Anyway, sold those. $14.95 shipped. Love old pictures. Then I got a couple of these, but I got sold one of these. A pesticide free area metal embossed 
Tin sign, Mountain Rose Herbs, Garden Farm sign, new still in the wrap. That was $15.97 shipped. Some of these sell prices, weren't they? Oh yeah, these are actually I yeah I did another sale or the end of the sale or whatever, but uh, and then got this. Um, it's just an empty box for a Leopold scope Vera dash X three uh, empty box twenty five twenty three shipped for an empty box. That's pretty good. <laughs> if I had the scope, the scope, the scope, yeah, yeah the I scope that goes in there's it. like three or four hundred yeah. bucks or more. I got the old uh, green canvas horse saddle bags. Also great for an ATV. These are the ones I was going to use on the back of my uh, uh -um. David B. On the tote goat if they didn't sell. But I ended up selling them for $49.95 shipped. Oh, look at that. I got myself a book I sold. So, uh, log house plans B, um, 1047 shipped. And then we've got a volume one and volume two, U.S. Forest Service Habitat, Bridger Teton National Forest, book 1765 shipped. Am I flooding you over there? No, I'm good. <laughs> Just have to organize a little bit. I'm not going to pull all these out, but I got a lot of, uh, 20 mixed snapback hats. This is ones that, you know, I tried to sell singly and stuff like that and got tired of them sitting on there. So I ended up putting a roundup of 20 hats and got 30, 29 shipped. Down the road they go. Down the road they go. And then we've got a old vintage solid brass spittoon, five and three quarter, uh, four inch across the mouth. 1717 shipped. Is that it? Nope, I got a couple more. I'm just gonna switch this screen. Hey man, that box is empty. The box is empty, the box is empty. Oh, okay. And then we have, which just made my night, a pair of, I showed these I think in the last Mountain Junkers video that I picked up, the Wesco boots. Um, Jobmaster Redwood, size 11D, men's boots, Vibram Soul, $125 shipped. No, it's received offer. Yeah, received offer. I took an offer on those. And then I have a pair of, uh, which this guy really irritated me, but a pair, and this is a smoking deal, and I really don't. If he does cancel, then uh, these were $27.28 shipped. These are probably $150 shoes, Kings. I wear them. They're my size. Um... I had them on for auction. The guy bid way back and minutes before the auction ended last night. Oh, I want to cancel that order. So <laughs> well, have at it, man. That's you know, that's up to you. So if he doesn't pay and stuff, I just let it run through the whole thing and uh can put a mark against him. He ain't got many feedbacks. And then uh then I'll decide if I want to relist them or not. But uh you want those over there? Um yeah. I don't I'll know what I'm doing. Back. I'll put them back where they go. <laughs> Yeah, you want to be. <laughs> so anyway, man, that's just part of business. You just got to deal with that. You know, can't fix stupid. But, you know, people, it's funny that people, and it's usually the ones with the low numbers, uh, obviously don't know what an auction is. So that's, man, that was the sales for the last couple of days. Um, a couple of good ones, but for the most, you know, it's over the weekend yeah. was a little bit slower than normal yeah. which it's the you know middle of the month or if i know it's not what is the day well and, and like we say if almost middle. the more you list the more you sell absolutely we have been a little busy yeah lately. we've been man and that's yeah juggling our yeah you know that's today we're trying you know obviously um miss kitty's getting ready to ship there i've got a whole parcel full of stuff right here i'm getting ready to list 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 man you gotta remember that but uh we're juggling too, man. Are we going to go, you know, up and see uh, our buddy and hit a couple of junk shops? Or are we going to go check the, a mushroom patch? Or are we going to do both? Or are we, <laughs> we going to garden? garden? Yeah, because I've got to get some uh, yeah. 
more chips and stuff hauled in here and stuff. So, I mean, juggling our time when you got, man, we got so many things. And that's not even counting, you know, pounding out knives. I'm working on a, um, I freaking did it and then I didn't like it and stuff. But I'm working on a custom knife for a guy that, uh, the last one it agitated me. So, I ended up starting over and it's a special order knife. Um, but I am working on your knife, man. <laughs> I'm just not happy with it, you know. It's a pretty good money one, so I'm trying to make sure that it's right. well worth every dime. Exactly. And then um, I did do a couple of, I guess I just did one. Roughed, got the one finished roughed in a raven beat because we're a little behind on everything, man. And then Mike, I got to get a hold of Mike. Uh, webmaster. Yeah, we're going over the web or the website and stuff. And man, that's uh. I've talked about it and I haven't said it. If you want a railroad spike knife, I've been only selling those. I haven't sold one for a no, little bit either. So if you want one of our, our, our railroad spike knives, you have to go to the internet and sell them. Mm -hmm. And then we're trying to put together a few other things. Man, it's just, whoa. Man, we were wanting spring to get here and it's, and it's here. here. Now I'm like, holy crap, man. Wintertime, yeah. man. I can take a break. <laughs> <laughs> I think Miss Kitty has a couple of postcards to show. I do, but I just wanted to go over real quick. Muskrat and Mrs. Muskrat. Yes. Are, I've been um, meaning to give him a shout out. Yeah, are getting geared up to maybe try to sell some stuff on eBay. So, um, Muskrat been, Outdoors. You got to make sure and check out my buddy. Muskrat Outdoors. Yeah. That's his channel name. Yes. Yeah. And he does a lot of trapping. Yeah. What other kind of stuff? He's trying to build up his channel, so make sure you go over there, man. Tell him that old hillbilly thing. Miss yeah. Kitty. <laughs> yeah. and he's uh he, yeah there's some graphic stuff i don't know if you've watched it some of the bit, you know the yeah. tra obviously man i grew up trapping you know and there it's that's why graphic stuff that he was a trapper and, yeah and that's yeah. so there's some of that but there's a lot of other stuff man and he's great yeah and he's a he usually you can watch him get his butt kicked by deer did you watch that one I did. yeah i wanted to beat the crap out of him he's here in idaho in salmon actually yeah yep yeah, over so, in salmon yeah. yep where's a cowboy hat bearded face we're twins <laughs> <laughs> that's my twin brother man check out muskrat yeah i just had to throw that in but um uh he's looking for the least expensive way to get started and so he went out and purchased a three dollar printer at a, his local thrift store which is cool yeah but um, there ain't no walmart yeah. and salmon yeah. um but for him and everyone else out there the ink on your printer is going to be more expensive than anything and when you purchase a new one it comes already with an ink cartridge in it that's we, how we shop for ours yeah <laughs> yeah and i i price um the replacement ink on the the current model of printers and then i'll purchase the printer based on how much the, the ink cartridges exactly. are that's how we um and right now we're using a canon um, we've used hp and other other ones in the past but right now canon has the cheapest replacement ink and I think the most I've ever paid for a printer is about $35. And um, I just get the basic low-end one. They last a couple years. I'm I'm pretty happy yeah, with Yeah, so I mean, that. we ain't doing nothing too uh, dang, you know, if we were printing right. out business cards and stuff or like that. Or flyers and yeah. things like that. I don't use um, a lot of color ink, so, you know, just basic black ink. But um, we do, when we go in there, we go in the store, man, we look at the yeah. ink cartridges, and then we go over and look at the, the price printer. of the ink cartridges. Hey, yeah. this one's only this price. Yeah. But we actually, it's something that Muskrat, um, what's his wife's name? Um, Mrs. Muskrat. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure if they put their names oh, okay. there. So. But uh, Mrs. Muskrat. Mrs. She, Muskrat. She, might, she might not like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, <laughs> that threw me off. Oh, the... Um, to order them online. No, that we refill. We actually, oh, yeah. yeah, we actually refill yeah. our black ink. We only use black ink, Miss Kitty. Which, of course, when you're refilling them, especially if you've done it for a while, it starts taking less and less ink, yeah. and, and it, then and it starts to come up with printer after a while. out on you, right? At the yeah, most so you got to weigh your your um, benefits versus cost yeah, but saving. It, and but at fifteen bucks a pop and stuff, we <laughs> save a lot of money, especially when you live up like. Right. And he lives the same. Right. You know, right. Sam and right. Ido, he lives the and, same way. And I wanted to just kind of show real quick just our scale. Oh yeah. Just the. Uh, uh, we paid fifty basis. bucks for this bundle. Sixty actually. Yeah, 60 but that was back in two thousand. Yeah, and then I knocked it off the thing. It's bent, so yeah. it wobbles though. Yeah. I should try to fix it. So that's a really. You sad gotta have a good investment. scale. You've gotta have, you gotta spend the money on a, a, a decent. And scale. I prefer this, and this one goes up to fifty pounds. I just yeah. prefer the old school one mm -hmm. over the digital, digital. ones. Mm -hmm. Man, we have a, actually have a digital one. I just threw in a box here that. Uh, I think it's 
thing that's in this junk Yeah, we've checked it. Here. Checked it, you know what I mean? It's not way off, but it's off. It's yeah. not, you know, I don't much right. care for them China made right. digital ones. I prefer the old school. And yeah. having um, a proper scale and a printer is going to save you money in the long run. Absolutely. You're going to get a little bit of a discount on your postage, but it's just so much easier to get your, you got the correct um, weight for your listing and then you can just print off your labels right there and take them to the post office where you don't have to kind of guesstimate your weight and then take it to the post office and you're off and yeah. it's just easier to do yeah. it this way. And then who else, somebody else was asking us to do, uh, we had a, Another the calculated quote. shipping. The how do we know how oh, much yeah. to charge oh, for okay. shipping? Oh, okay. Was that and you answered them too? Um, I did. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You put. You have to enter the estimated weight into your listing for the calculated shipping cost, and then um, the calculator will uh, calculate the shipping cost based on your zip code and their zip code. Um, when you sign into eBay, it has your address, so they know what your zip code is. Um, and so does your buyer. So then it has both zip codes it can calculate. So it's really important to put the correct weight and you have to add for your box and your shipping packing material in there. You don't just weigh your item and put that exact weight in. You have to add for the box and the that packing company. material. Yeah, I think it's red coming back in. Oh, red. Um, yeah, so make sure you check out Muskrat Outdoors. I yep. mean to give him a shout out. It's awesome, man. Like, subscribe. And we did, uh, for the new viewers coming in and, and watching this video today, We last year we started a series called Mountain Junkers, and they're numbered Mountain Junkers number one, two, and I think yeah, we I numbered stopped. up to 11. Yeah, I stopped. Numbering. But those numbered ones um, give specific startup tips. Right, and she actually just put them in a... Mm -hmm. Um, a playlist. Folder, a playlist. Yes, yeah, so there's a playlist on YouTube yeah. here so you now. Can find them pretty quick and easy. And then she'll we'll keep mm -hmm. putting all the yeah. eBay ones in there. Yeah, and so there's shipping tips, calculated shipping tips in there also. And eBay, and leave any questions down below, yeah. man, and we'll either answer, answer them on, yeah. you know, or send a private email. Yeah, like private email. Dot dot the YouTube comment section. We'll try to answer any questions getting started on yep. that. Okay, so now we are ready to do some postcards. Woo! Woo! Okay, we're gonna start with our friend Shannon. I love Shannon. Yeah, she is such a dear. This card's amazing. Okay, I gotta take my glasses off. I hope this finds y'all well and in good spirits. All is well here in South Carolina, Miss Kitty. I hope the garden beds are bountiful this year. Me too. Throw these beans in the dirt and give them something to climb on, and plenty of afternoon sunshine. I'm on my way. I'm getting closer to my homestead. She is in search of some property, yep. and she is working hard looking for it. Well, I think she took a little vacation. She, she did. <laughs> she ain't been working so hard the last couple of months, but send, she was. <laughs> send me some positive vibes. I've seen some pictures on there you the go. There's your positive Instagram. Vibes. <laughs> she always has our positive vibes. Silver Springs. Yep, and you got it. Yeah, check out Silver Springs too, man. Like, subscribe. She's man, she's a hoot. She don't do a ton of videos. I've been bugging her about that. Look at this. I don't know if you can see this. It's all oh, vans, man. Bands. It's so cool, classic vans. It's going on my wall. Actually, I'm probably hanging the van. And I have the perfect spot for these beans already. Yes, man. And these are asparagus bean seeds. Miss Kitty's gonna plant them today. Thank you so much, Shannon. That's awesome. I'm excited for the beans. You gotta put her card in the yep. drawing, but after the drawing's over, it's going in the beans. Okay, and this one here is from Jody. Jody is in Roseburg, Oregon. Isn't that funny? Oh, yeah. My and sister's this in is Roseburg. Oregon Covered Bridges. Per day. Yeah, I thought that was funny. Pretty Roseburg, pretty. your sister in Roseburg, and then Silver Springs, who, who reminds you so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Shannon wrote. reminds me of my, my and sister. And look, another Oregon one. This is from Patrick. They're related. Or, yeah. <laughs> That's one they did. They ain't no dummies. No, they are Oregon. not. Oregon. Yeah. Oregon's beautiful. Yeah. Big something. The flea market's coming up, man. Yes, it Memorial is. Day weekend. And then this one is from Dan. Hello. I really enjoy your post on YouTube. Would like to be in the drawing for the knife. And then it's just, yep, a, just a card. card. Just a card. That's all you need, man. I enjoy your videos. I'm in my 70s. You're living my dream. God bless. Ken. And Ken sent, um, I need to write his name on the back of these before I put them in. Um, this one here is North Carolina, the Memorial Chapel at Lake. Did we already show these ones? I think we did. Um, I don't remember. I can't say the Lake, what? One. Lake 
Jupiter. I sure the heck can't see nothing. 19 story Kodak Tower in Rochester, New York. Go. Neat vintage postcards. Cool cards. Oh, here's a, that same link. Lake. Uh, Loom Booth Inn at the Dam at Lake Junaluska. Junaluska. I'm probably I don't think you're, I, say, I don't think you're saying that right, but yeah, all right. So, okay. We'll go with it. This is a church. Jefferson Davis, former president of the Confederate States, attended services. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of like a painted one. Mm hmm. This is a curve on U.S. Route 50 as it crosses the Laurel Mountain in Preston County, West Virginia. I love all these cards. I know, me too. They're so neat. Right there, man. There's some mushrooms right up in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the Horn Motor Lodge in Jacksonville, Florida. And Eric, you got back to Eric, too. Tinkerville. He's going to be starting a dang channel i've been bugging you to ask us what camera did you answer him no not yet oh okay i got your back looking ah. looking up fifth avenue from new york public library ah. now, new that... york yeah that to answer eric's question the one the one that's pointing at me right now is a canon g12 um and we use man we i really don't have any uh can't, I don't, can't remember the name of the one we want. The camera we want is about 300 bucks. Um, hoping to get a new one so that we can, you know, zoom, zoom in, in mostly for wildlife stuff. And to be able to have a, so kind of a, a weather um, appropriate microphone. Right, for the wind and stuff right. like that. Yeah, I was hoping I'd be winning this one on Doug and Stacy's channel. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, this camera. But it does the job, and the main thing for Eric is just to, you know, just get a camera, man, start doing it, you know, and then if you're going to want to... It's the same camera I used to take outdoor. my eBay pictures. Yeah, this is the same camera I used to do. It's not no yeah. fancy no. thing. I mean, it's not a cam, you know, it's just a camera. Yeah. So, and, yeah. and then we use um, the free movie editor, movie maker that's available through Microsoft. Yeah. It's, it's just free software. Yeah, we don't do too much, computer. anything too fancy, you know, that's, uh, like I said, we definitely like to upgrade our mm -hmm. our camera and hoping to do that you know it's a money thing man yeah. everything everything's around them greenbacks mm -hmm. so but just to get started man i just try to pick up you know obviously a canon or a sony or you know just a, a yeah a name brand we tried we, that one we tried a fuji um camera a long time ago and it was Eh, the the sound on it was terrible. Remember that one? Yeah, yeah. 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 But I got this other one. This is the one we started. With. It's right here. I think. The other Canon. Yeah, this is a little Canon. See, and this one's a little Canon. Uh, Power shot. X uh, SX one twenty something. This is the. I don't know if it was the very first one, but this is the camera that we started with originally. I think the first one we started with was actually the silver Nikon. Oh, it is. You're right. You're yeah. right. But, so, I mean, basically just a cameraman, then, you know, especially if you do eBay and stuff like that, because this is what she used for eBay and everything. Mm -hmm. um, the camera that we have now um, was actually it was a gift. gift. It was gifted to us, man. Yeah, it was going to get thrown thrown away yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, man, it's worked great, yeah. you know. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't zoom in on the wildlife like I, because that's, you know, mm -hmm. us being out there, all the stuff. We miss a lot of the... Yeah. Stuff like that. We tried to film a yeah. grouse all puffed up a couple it days worked. ago. Yeah, and it didn't work. So. One of the things I really do like about this Canon um, G12 is that the, the flip screen the, the screen flips around. So right now we can we see can see yeah, we see and make sure that it stuffs You're in, in frame. frame. Yeah, and so that part. Yeah. And just all that so I mean, so man, nice. but for Eric, just to get started, man, just pick you know, yeah. get yourself a you know inexpensive camera and start filming, man. I want to see that jump. <laughs> I think other than that, man, that's all we got. I gotta get to work. For we days, to yep, we gotta get this stuff. I gotta get stuff list, list, list. She's gotta get that stuff packed, and then we've gotta decide whether ship, ship, ship. We're gonna go treasure hunting or mushroom hunting or both. Yeah. Hopefully both. Yeah. Probably should throw some garden. You gotta plant those beans I and do. you got some tomatoes and stuff. To plant, I do. So, good Lord willing, and the cricks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow.